You lucky, lucky people. Yeah, you. Yes, you. Any jungling guy? I got the Tarzan of Jada jungle just swinging on the vine this morning, mate. I'm telling you. This could turn Ari Krishna into a bad boy. I am dealing with a monumental case of Mr. Floppy. I'm having a sub-life crisis. I can't stop thinking about my girlfriend fucking other men. Why would I want a man? I'm having sex with music, mate. And believe me, I can go all night. Oh, nice one, brother. Yeah. Oh, nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. I said, nice, bruv. Nice one, brother. Nice one, bruv. Brother. Mother's life. I'm having the best time. Remember that and for it. You know what? Fuck it. London's the last place I thought you'd end up. It's okay. I like it here. No one knows me. I might have something for you. It's a family matter. We are very worried about Leon. Will you take the case, Mr. Lombard? Congratulations on your new case. It's just money for nothing. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Lombard, why did you leave Paris? Look at you. How did you protect your family? Detective Xavier Lombard, indicted for murder, please, self-defense. Get down on the ground! Now! I'm a private investigator. I've been hired to find Leon's bits. Is this man the Austrian? I think you're a bad man. You're a dangerous man to be around. Who is the Austrian? Someone who deals in kids. Shiva was being held somewhere in London and Leon got him out. So when did you start taking your work so seriously? Clients usually come with some sort of endorsement. Have you got any idea who you're up against? I'll give you the right to turn judge, juror, and executioner. This isn't about Liam anymore. Where's Freeman? Mexico! You can stop me now. I didn't know. That's what you're thinking, aren't you? Just kids. You're already in the life, kiddo. If I hate to say it, you just need someone like Uncle Mel to show you the ropes. I'm not some little kid. I just made seven, eight hundred bucks in one night. Yeah, and quarters. Probably got a hernia dragging them home. This will be a couple of days' work, and your end is going to be ten grand minimum. 
Sounds good. Deal? Yeah, sounds real good to me. Good. Hey, you! Maybe he ain't coming. Ha, oh, baby, Mel's for real. All right, baby, whatever you say, you're the boss. <laughs> so you two are Bonnie and Clyde, huh? <laughs> We're gonna have a really good time. Now you live in Ace, and this place is a little rough. Hey, I was in a blues bar in St. Louis. A guy walks in carrying a severed head. You live in the fast lane, Mel. Take pro. Okay? Only steals when he knows everything's in his favor. When he knows, he's not gonna get caught. Can I scare you, baby? Oh, it feels good. You just point your hand at what you want to hit and... Booyah, it's over. Hey, how goes the tutoring? Not bad, the kid has talent. Let's go shopping. I got a brand new pinstripe suit of clothes. Great, thank you. I guess I'll go Mel's dream. I guess I've really been like parents to me. But let's just stay focused on the not puking thing, okay? I'm the happiest now as I've ever been in my whole life, man. I said, you know what we gotta do. Come on, we gotta go before he gets back. I wanna go home. Oh, have we got any kids into? Where would you be without me? I'd be fine. You'd be dead. I take you in, I teach you the ropes, I give you my money, my dope, I make you part of my crew! Is this my final payback? I am the role model. I'm a junkie and I'm a thief. I me a fox. So are you. See, you you so get him. This is a fuck money! One minute you're Mr. Big Man with Mel, and the next minute you're just a helpless little boy. This is not about friendship. This is not about love. This is survival. What do you think we are, Ozzy and Harriet? I'm sending you to California, Fort Spencer. We have four missing soldiers, Captain, and no bodies. We need a supportable explanation. Uh -huh. Captain John Boyd is out to solve a mystery. No one just ends up at Fort Spencer. We come for a reason. And yours being? Hmm. Well, but he is about to discover we have a great sense of camaraderie here at Fort Spencer. <laughs> Something he never imagined. Wingigo. It's an old Indian myth from the north. Man eats the flesh of another. <gasps> he absorbs the other man's strength. Now, one man must choose. We need others. Between having dinner. Not me. And being dinner. Good oh, gracious. <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying. Stu. I do Major Knox. Guy Pierce. I've... I'm gonna kill him. Robert Carlyle. He was tough, but then a uh, good soldier ought to be. Jeffrey Jones. We, uh, want to bring you into the fold. What's wrong? David Arquette. <laughs> There's no guilt. I gotta eat. <laughs> but it's tough making friends. <laughs> eat. To live. Don't live to eat. Huh? That was really sneaky. Oh, he was licking me! <laughs> Ravenous. Bon appetit. <laughs> It's the uh, common denominator of the world, isn't it? Number seven. I mean, uh, yeah, seven wonders of the world. You've got lucky seven, right? You've got seven days of the week. Yeah, but not everything's seven. Like Jackson Five. Yeah, but you had the parents. What have you got? Looking for a room. If you're on the social, Dad can give you a rebate. Sounds beautiful. What's your trade, sir? I was in the armed forces, ten years. No, really? Have you ever held a gun fight? When have I ever not held a gun is the question. You see these killing machines? Can I ask you a question, Frank? Only fools ask questions. What's up with him, anyhow? He had an accident. Going four against this massive bloke. Started smashing his cue into Keith's face. We <laughs> helped me get him for what they done to Keith. You want me to help you kill somebody? You're going to be joking. <laughs> I'm not the equaliser, you know. I don't go around in a Mac doing things for free. You'd be good at it. You're a chain killer. I'll pay you. How much are you going to pay me? 40 quid. Guess what I'm going to do? Can't go around killing people. Hold your horses. 
London. Come on, Frank, if we go to London, we can make a day out of it. I suppose if we're going to kill someone, not go sightseeing up London King Zoo. Am I working with amateurs? You're not getting scared, are you? Scared? I'm, I'm a hitman. Let's begin the beginning. Where's your boyfriend? Quick save! Cock up from the start. Don't <laughs> insult me. I'm a professional, for Christ's sake. Why don't women fancy me, eh? I mean, I'm romantic. I even eat Hagen does. I said, did you want some? I bought it, didn't I? Of course I want some. Shut up! <laughs> Had a nice day out today, didn't we, Frank? Frank, didn't we? Yeah, lovely, lovely.